The snow geese are starting to roll in and one group doesn't want to hunt snows at all. Darks and ducks for them it is. I back up Brad's duck hunters and they enjoy some stellar up close and personal snow goose hunting as I test a new persuader by clone decoys while I guide three hunters to over 100 geese on an afternoon hunt. Jeff takes a group out on a morning field hunt targeting fully plumed greenheads. Do they get it done? I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. What we'll do is we're going we're gonna to actually hunt. We're set up for this northeast wind right here. Okay, we'll lay out the blinds. Obviously, first order business for you guys, unfortunately, I know it sucks. Let's get those blinds, like, disappeared. Chaff, like, the chaff in there. Not real windy, so concentrate for sure on the doors. The rest will be awesome, too. And then we'll start, me and Brad will start running the perimeter of decoys. We're doing a big snow hunt, and Brad was nice enough to hand this one off. To me, I just haven't done a lot of a lot of guiding, especially in the last week, uh, primarily because I've been so busy running the outfit. So it's nice to get out and, and guide. I mean, that's why you guys can get into this. I didn't get into this to be an operations manager. Ready to rock. Let the games begin, boys. We're gonna kill this back one. Get ready, guys. Kill that one. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, wait, wait. Let him come around. Let him come around again. Man. Woo! 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 Drill him. Drill him. Drill him. Drill him. Drill him. Nice shot. If we had some wind, it would be nice. Here we go. Here we go, boys. These five right here. These five coming right in. Get ready. Hold tight. Get them right in the hole. Get ready. No, not liking something. Something they're not liking here. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. This single, guys, get ready. Kill the single. Good. He's going down. Well, they're, they're killable. They're just not finishing real nice, so we'll shoot them when they drift out. Come right over your shoulders. Right over the top, in the hole. Shoot them, guys. Shoot them. Ruth, shoot them. He's coming around. He's coming around. Get ready. He's coming right around. Coming right around. There you go. There you go. Nice shot. These five, these five. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Drill them, boys, drill them, drill them, drill them. Nice shot, guys. Two dead. Get ready. Okay, 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 those are good. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Nice, 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 guys. Drill them, drill them, drill them, drill them, drill them. Nice, reload, reload. Get ready, guys, these two. Good, get ready, get ready, get ready. Drill them, guys, drill them, drill them, drill them. Nice shooting, boys. I told you, heavy steel. Hell of a shot, two in a row. Well, it was a decent hunt. You know, ended up with uh, about 55 snow geese, I think, and two 
two dark geese a speck in Canada. I, we saw a whole bunch of birds coming back from behind us to the east, so I don't know, you know. We definitely didn't get the show this morning, whether they all snuck out the backside, followed a different pot of birds on that wind. I mean, who knows? But I mean, the ones that did it, did it. The ones that didn't do it, didn't even look at us. And it was fun, though. You know, anytime you can go and shoot 50, 50, 55 birds, it's a good morning. Thank you, sir. Your weapon of choice. 3D. It's late season. There's no willows left. We had a big windstorm yesterday. There's not a leaf left in five counties. So we got to cover up our big bush blinds. We got some older fellows coming. Definitely going to be hunting under the big bushes. And we need some cover, so ditch grass it is. It's miserable, but it'll hide good. We'll be happy come tomorrow when we're hunting out of it. So concealment. Gotta be an easier way. <laughs> <laughs> here this morning hunting some ducks. Ducks, this and that's all that's in here. Uh, field shoot. Um, we're gonna hunt out of the big bush this morning. We got uh, an older fella left, so we're gonna, we're just gonna lay down. But we'll, we'll use the big bush. We'll do fine. We're gonna side shoot him. So we're just, just looking at our wind right now. Of course. It's a side shoot, so it's going to flip a bit. It's typical. But uh, yeah, we're just setting up a side shoot here. We got some FFDs and Bigfoots out. Got the blind brushed. Lots of ducks. Um, should be in good shape. If all goes well, we should have our ducks in timely fashion, I would think. I sure we will hopefully have them within an hour, and then we'll get these guys back. So they'll be going out. Maybe the scoop might be going with Claudio, so we'll have to get back early because I'm sure he'll want to leave early. So. That's that. Is it 724? All right, we're shooting here in four minutes. All right, guys. Get ready, boys. Get ready. Go, boys. Go, 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 go. Hey, I'm gonna shut them up. Go, go, go. Go, boys. Down low. Down low, front. Oh, heads up. <laughs> go, boys. Two. Let's make a quick adjustment here. Let's see. <laughs> Go, boys. Oh, heads up. I got him. There we go. See the difference already. textbook I mean uh, the wind flipped on us a bit we find with the big bush that uh, you need to be off the side of them well the wind flipped to our back so we had to make an adjustment with a lot of ducks over top of us we watched a lot of ducks puddle this morning right beside us they just they, we couldn't pull them off the puddle uh, so we made a wind adjustment to the side and then it flipped again and make another wind adjustment to get to the side of them move a few decoys we chipped away we probably out here for a couple hours on a good day with the right conditions, we've probably been done in 20 minutes, but some, you know, some of these guys don't want to be done in 20 minutes either, so we chipped away and we got them, so it was a good hunt. And 
and it's it's still early. We'll be home in time to have a coffee and have a little lunch before they go on a goose hunt tonight. So all is good. Took a little longer this morning just because of the wind situation, but uh, no, it went really, really good. We could have killed a few more snows, but we weren't there for the snows. We were there for the ducks. So, you know, if we had the opportunity to ducks, I just said, let the snows go. Cause that's really, really what we were there for. But we got nine snows and three specks and all our ducks. And it was great. We were done by about 8.30. And then we just kind of casually picked up instead of rushing it. The ducks were still pouring in and everything. So it was all, it's all good. And uh, yeah, stopped and got the guys a coffee. And, sauntered home. I think Jay's gonna take my guys for uh, specs in Little Canada's and Claudio's gonna take the other guys on a basically a snow goose hunt. My my guys they, they're not big into snow geese and, and uh, they like shooting the dark so that's what's gonna happen so they need 37 darks and we've got a perfect day and hopefully Jay can get them. Hey, Barbara Doll. Yes. How are you? Good, good. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you put as many specks as you can in here for transport? I want to get the K and K to make jerky. Okay. Jerky. Sure. Okay, then we'll feed the hunters. Fill it up. Twenty-four. I can take okay. twenty-four. Let's give them twenty-four specks. It'll be yummy jerky. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Thanks, Barb. Okay. Check out these things. The persuaders. Jeff, nice meet. These are persuaders by clone decoys. So they are a motion system for the clone decoys that allow them to, I guess, bob back and forth and hover. So we're excited to see them and try them. There you go. Very cool, exciting, exciting, I'm excited to try it. Okay, keep eating guys. Okay, so I want to run two long legs. We'll go probably, I don't know, 80 yards apart down at the bottom, maybe more, and then come a narrow, narrower, a feed band right here, and then, and then a, a hole, there's gonna be one, two, three, four of us. And then we'll put a few specks lining each side of the hole, and then a bunch of darks and some lights kind of behind us, but very few, very few whites behind us. Here's the shakedown here. Uh, we've got some specks on this hunt and, and a bunch of snow that 8,000, maybe 9,000. Not a monster, but just nice. They've been here for a few days, so I'm anticipating they come back. So. We showed up, we had a southwest wind. Wind's calling for a complete change to out of the east by about nine. And of course at six, it's starting to switch. So when you're putting out 11 or 12 or 1500 decoys, you can't move them like this. So we're, we're actually setting up the, the clone persuaders and the clone decoys first. The guys are putting out some of the spec decoys just upwind of us. And then we're waiting to lay out the legs in the downwind side of the spread to make sure we have the correct downwind. I mean, you know, those geese are gonna, are gonna approach the main body, which we're gonna be in no matter what. So we're gonna go heavy, uh, and we're gonna be in white suits. And Jay started hunting out of the white, uh, white suits, and we're actually using the chairs that I used to build 20 years ago on a product we called the goose chair. Anyways, long story short, we're using those for the comfort, just to get us off the ground a little bit in a comfortable shooting position. And then there's the three hunters this time, and me will be in just white, white Tyvek suits. So, I mean, we're hoping that works. We're gonna go heavy around uh, the white suits with white decoys, so you're almost tripping over them, which is the densest part, and they should kind of approach us. And we're gonna have this downwind hole and see what happens. Hopefully it works well. Lots of birds, let's see what happens here. Wow, look up. <laughs> Get ready. Straight over. Ready? 
Ready, 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 ready. Kill him, guys. Kill him, kill him. Five, nice. Load all three. Load your guns. Load quick. Ready? Left side. Go, kill him. Kill him. Good. Reload, reload, reload. Quick. Reload quick. Brian, right there, straight up. Nice. <laughs> okay, these ones guys are breaking. They're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. I'll call it a bit sooner, okay? Get ready. Hold, hold, hold. That's as good as it gets, boy. Shoot him, shoot him. Load up, guys. Be patient. We want him right, right low. Oh boy. What do you think? Oh yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go right away. Get ready. Get ready, guys. On the left, shoot the left. Go, guys. Go, go, go. Not, oh, that was heavy metal. Get them all, guys. Get them all. Nice. Get ready. Ready? Take your hook right over the hole. Hold, 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 hold. Perfect, guys. Whack them, whack them, whack them. You guys running out of ammo? Yeah, I am. I went through three boxes already. Here comes another one. <laughs> Little high. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Ready? Drill them. Those are perfect. When they're that close, just put it on their beak and pull the trigger. Hold, hold. Are these ones? Okay. Okay, kill them. Kill them. Nice. Regroup. Regroup, guys. <laughs> these three, guys. Get ready. Shoot the four guys, shoot them all. Reload, 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 reload. I don't mean to sound bossy on the reload, just keeping your focus. All right, let's, let's get it in tight, make it count, boys. Get ready, get ready, get ready. If they're low enough, we're gonna go. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Roll them, guys. Roll them. Roll them. That's what I like to see. That was as pretty as it gets right there. Hey, Dad, it was good, you know. Fortunately, the wind stayed for us for once you know and, and we set up for the exact thing that we had it didn't pivot it didn't switch could have been a little stronger at the beginning of the night I was panicking I was going oh boy these things aren't even looking at us but I think they were just different birds and it worked I think we ended up with uh, I clicked off 101 so that should, should be what we have pretty easy to keep track from my position and I think we had three specs or something but it was good I'll, I'll tell you what people like I don't normally do this and I mean the, the whole product push thing but these guys were shooting heavy metal tonight just three inch stuff yes the birds were close they made some nice shots shooting out of Benelli Super Black Eagle threes that, that performed flawlessly now if you can afford the stuff it, it helps like I've been on a lot of hunts I've chased a lot of birds down I've rung a lot of necks out of the hundred plus that we shot tonight I maybe rung three or four necks so the stuff works it hits hard it hits them whether they're close it hits them whether they're far so you can take that for whatever it's worth. Good stuff. Open up the stack. Oh, I can't wait to hear about this. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Come on. 
Good job, you finally got one. Wait, wait, we caught some. Yeah, finally. Good job. The breakdown was quick, too. Man, I can't guys, believe that. What's that? The breakdown. Can't believe you're even home. Oh, those guys are fast. Good. Did you uh, lay down or white suit? White suits. They had no clue. No clue. It was pretty cool. And they were, it was pretty, too. Like, just the way they did it. And then the ones that started coming. No, it was good. Well, let's get them hung up. Yeah, let's lots do it. Jeff, how are you looking for tomorrow? What are you What are you hunting tomorrow? Ducks. Just ducks? Ducks with bonus twelve thousand souls. They don't want to shoot snows, so. Huh? They don't even want to go in the hunt. They don't want to shoot snows, so. That was the banded one, right there. The leaves are very fragile, so just go real easy with them. We're almost ready to go. We can shoot in the dark too, they tell us. <laughs> These are dark geese. Just shoot them in the dark. <laughs> Just turn on your headlamp. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Watch this from the right, from the right. <laughs> go, go. That's coming. Another group coming. out in front. Come on, guys, get down. Get ready, get ready. Rip them, rip them. Good job, get down. Okay, get ready, get ready. Rip him. That was a hand, John. I saw that hand. Okay, guys, we gotta pick up, see what we got. How many you got there? Four. Perfect, right on the button. We got it done. I left my leg short and they were skirting in. And you know, I had to move the robo ducks to get them over a little bit in front, but guys shot them up. There's 40 dead ducks on there, and we got six bonus geese to go with them, so all in all, it was a good hunt. <laughs>